What is up, everybody? It's January 13th, 2021, or no, 2022, my bad, in Big Bear Lake, California. Um, wow. So I didn't hear any of this happening, and I stepped outside for a minute just to see if there was anything happening out here, and everything's wet. So we finally did get a little bit of this drizzle or rain, whatever you want to call it. A little bit of both. But it's, it's mostly, mostly just drizzle. However, it was enough to soak the ground. So that's, that's really good. What isn't good though, you guys, is the temperature is 45 degrees. So this rain is actually melting away. Or it's not rain, guys, it's, it's just drizzle, but it's, it's still, it's gonna be melting away some of this snow. Oh, snow, man makes me very sad you guys how are you all doing I hope you guys are doing great the comments on the video from earlier you guys are amazing I'm serious you guys are truly unbelievably awesome incredible just freaking badass people just the, the most badass people ever we have a beautiful thing going guys we have a beautiful community and you know what that's my mom calling me on the other line right now but I'll answer it in just a second we have such a beautiful community guys the people on this channel you guys are amazing just amazing I don't know how I got so lucky to have people like you guys in my life you guys have changed my life you guys have given me life you guys have given me hope And what I'd like to eventually do is once I get through, as I keep on saying, once I get through what I'm going through, and I, I see light at the end of the tunnel, I really do, and I didn't think I would, I would even ever say that. But I wanna be able to help as many people as I possibly can through my experiences, my strength now, and my newfound hope. So we're gonna go through the village just so you guys can see what it looks like right now at nighttime. What are you doing there? You can <laughs> turn out the next left, my friend. You'll be able to get into the village from there. There you go. And I'm really, 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 really glad that what I share with you guys does have some impact to be able to help. Because the only way we can help each other out is by being honest with each other. And I'm not embarrassed about what I've gone through. I used to be, I'm not embarrassed about it anymore because my pain and suffering hopefully can help others avoid what I've gone through. I'm always willing to answer questions that anybody has because I want you all to be good. I want you all to be happy. I want to be happy. But you guys do a lot for me to make me happy. Seriously, just reading the comments. I mean, come on, you guys, just such, just such beautiful people. They're beautiful people. They're beautiful people. They're beautiful people. So yeah, we're getting a little light drizzle right now. I think I missed like the brunt of the storm. It's not much of a storm, you guys. It's but it, it technically was. I didn't think we were gonna get anything. But my goodness, the weather people were actually right. And the app that I use most of the, or all the time, uh, well, it, it, it ended up changing a few hours ago saying that we're going to get a little bit of light rain tonight, but I think that has passed already. And wow, they were actually right. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. So we're going to mosey on down to this other side of Big Bear Lake over here. So you guys can see how much more snow is over on that side of town as opposed to right here in the middle of town. What's up, you guys? Seriously, those comments that you guys make are unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. I mean, don't ever forget that you guys saved my life. I don't know 
I don't know where I'd be without this channel, to be honest with you guys. And I'm being totally honest. I don't know where I would be or or if I would even be. That's just that's just crazy to even think about, but it's it's the God's honest truth. Come on, windshield. What are you doing there? I gotta turn on the defroster real quick, see if that'll help out a little bit. But yeah. Well, look at that. The temperature dropped quite a bit since we got into the car. It's 40 degrees now. I'm in my typical shorts and uh, t-shirt. <laughs> what a tool. What a freaking tool. Yeah, you guys. I want you guys to be strong. I want you guys to be happy. Also, we have a friend on this channel, his name's Paul. He lives in the Hollywood area. This is just a shot in the dark, but he is looking for a reliable roommate because he keeps on not having them work out. And it is Hollywood, so it's not it's not cheap out there. But if, if any of you are looking for anything, I mean, hit me up because I would, I would love to refer you guys to each other and you know help each other out. Because that would be awesome if if one of you is like, hey, I've been looking in Hollywood and you know, like, I needed a roommate too. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. I'm pretty excited about all this water here. Not excited about the fact that this rain that we just had for 10 minutes. It had to have been for like 10 or 15 minutes because I've been in and out of my house often this evening and I didn't see the see the ground wet at all earlier. So um, I'm just bummed out about this because this is gonna melt some of the nice snow. And if we don't get down to freezing tonight, we, we probably eventually will. But uh, when we get rain like this, it, it's, it's really, incumbent on the resorts to be making snow for you guys so so you, so you get some fresh snow and they've been doing a great job i've heard the conditions are pretty damn good you guys they bust their butts up here to make sure that all of you guys when you come up here you have a good time and it's it really is a beautiful thing to see how hard they work <clears throat> you might not actually see them physically working but the results and the good times that most of you have up here, that's because of them busting their tails to make sure that you guys have a great time. Sorry about this uh, kind of being dark outside. If we didn't have these cars in front of me, I'd be turning on the bright so we can see a little bit better. But yeah, this is the heaviest drizzle that we've driven in yet. And as you can see on the sides of the roads, the snow's picking up quite a bit. Wait till you see over, over by the dam. It looks like a whole different town because there's so much more snow over there. But as I've told you guys before, do you remember I've coined the Big Bear Snow Rule, which basically means that in every storm that we get up here this time of year, winter type storms, we're gonna get a lot more snow on this side of town where we're going right now. The further you drive this direction, the more snow you'll get than pretty much anywhere else in town. Now, if you go to the higher elevations, like in, in Upper Moon Ridge, since Upper Moon Ridge is smack dab right against the mountain right there, they get a lot of the residual moisture that slams the mountain, and then it dumps it all right on top of the mountain, and then the dry, arid air out here just, just eats it up, eats up these storms. That's why in Baldwin Lake, you guys, when it's like dumping over here, there's a good chance there will be sun popping out on that side. And it's only an eight mile difference, which is pretty unreal. Same elevation and everything, but the snow difference is, is huge. When I used to live on the big island of Hawaii, I lived in a town called Waikoloa Village. And one of my best friends out there, God rest his soul now, died in a, a drunk driving accident. Like, just a horrible, horrible thing. Um, his name, it, his, his name was Brandon, and he lived in a town called Waimea. 
which was a little bit higher up and more towards the, uh, I don't know, kind of like on the way to the west, wait, is it the west side of the island? I think the west side, um, or maybe the east, I can't remember, but literally it was about seven or eight miles, the same thing from the Big Bear Dam to the opposite side of this valley. Where he lived, it was rainforest, and it rained every single day. Every single day. Where I lived, eight miles away from him, I think it rained twice in the whole year and a few months that I lived there. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I love climates like that. It's, it's, just, it's so amazing how that works. It's so amazing how that works. But anyway, guys, when we come back the other way, we'll be able to turn the brights on quite a bit. Obviously, when cars come, we shut them off. I don't want any, any of you to think that I just drive and keep my brights on. That is an issue up here, though, you guys. When I first moved up here, I would get so upset because so many people just don't care. They'll keep their brights on, and it's very frustrating. And the only reason I have the brights on for my videos is so you guys can see the snow falling better get a better look at how heavy it's snowing um, or in this case drizzling but since there's cars right in front of us I, I can't put my brights on but I don't want you guys to think that I just drive around like a kook and do that I, I really don't I'm really good about shutting my brights off as soon as I see any headlights coming they're off boom but as I said, don't be surprised, guys, when you're driving up here if a bunch of people, not a bunch, but there's a good handful that will not turn off their brights at all. Wow, look at the temperature now. 38. 30 freaking 8. right on my butt I'm not much of a brake checker anymore these days but he deserves it I'm <laughs> just kidding not really <laughs> I still do have a little bit of a you know a temper and a, just an angry driving type of a situation but I've gotten a lot better and a lot of it has to do with you guys watch I'm gonna let douchey pie Go by. <laughs> See, look at this guy. What a kook. What a total kook. So we're going to turn right up here. And then turn around. So we're at the Big Bear Dam. As I said, it'll be easier to see how much snow we got coming up here. Coming back the other way. So we're going to have to make a new turn right over here. Alright. Yeah, sorry guys. I suffered from about 30 seconds of road rage there. But not as raging as it usually is. As I said, I owe you guys a huge debt of gratitude for helping me calm down. I really appreciate you guys a lot. You, you, you guys do a lot for me. And it's when people talk to me in a very constructive way, not just being jerks about it. Like, dude, you're such an ass. You know, blah, 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 blah. It's like, that's going to go in one ear out the other. It's when people are actually concerned. I really listen. I really do. So, look, we got our brights on, you guys. I don't know if you can tell how much snow they got over here on the right-hand side, but it's it's significant compared to the other side of town. There's nothing in Baldwin right now. Absolutely zero. zippity doo da, zippity a. No snow makes Nick a dull boy. <laughs> oh man. Have to slow down a little bit. Well, I don't think I can drive that slow. I want to hold back so we can put the brights on, like straight ahead here. Look at look at all this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. As I said, unfortunately, this.
drizzle is going to be melting a little bit of this away. And I don't see any snow on the radar, you guys. There's nothing on the radar for weeks. For the next two weeks, there's nothing. But I did tell you guys in the video earlier that there's a... Uh, they, they, they've been talking about a pattern shift, kind of like how we had um, in December, where we got that ridge of high pressure out of here, and just those those storms came barreling in here. If we would have had snow during those storms instead of rain for the first storm and nothing on the second storm, we would have had record amounts of snow for that time of year up here, I guarantee you. If all of that weather would have panned out how they predicted, I'd bet that we would have had over 10 feet of snow in in just in that one week or week and a half worth of time. And then we got nothing. Just a bunch of rain, which is good for the lake. We're very, very grateful for that. But we're not gonna have to be concerned about that, hopefully for much longer because of the lake replenishment plan, lake replenishment project. You have no idea how bad I wanna honk my train horn right now. But as I said, you guys have helped me to not be as much of a jerk when I'm driving and I really appreciate that. I wouldn't be honking at these guys right in front of me, but there's a car, like five cars up, that's just going 23 miles per hour, which is cool. If it makes them feel safer, you know what? Go for it. Because I know how scary it can be to drive on these roads when you're not used to it, especially when you're expecting it to be icy, which this time of night, you typically should, even though it's 40 degrees right now. Don't forget, you guys, that all this snow on the side of the road here during the daytime, a lot of it melts, and it melts into the street. And then at nighttime, once we get into our freezing temperatures, that'll freeze and turn into black ice. So you gotta be very, very cautious always up here when you're driving in really early in the morning or really late at night. I always tell you guys just to assume that it's icy, always. So you'll take more caution, and maybe that's what this, this dude up here is doing, which is totally fine. Can you guys believe that? Look, I'm changing. I'm changing big time. They were driving by Boulder Bay right now, and some big, beautiful houses right there on the bay, which is really awesome. I love those houses right there. If like 10 of us split it, we could stay in one of those major crazy looking houses. I think some of them are like thousands of dollars per night. But as I said, if there's like 10 of us, pay like 200 bucks each, 300 bucks each per night and just get the most amazing place ever. I've got a couple friends who work here at Boulder Bay Liquor Store. They're sisters, they are so cool. Teresa and Carrie. You guys met Carrie one time before. She's a sweetheart. They're both sweethearts. Once again, you guys, I apologize about it being so dark in the video. Usually, we're doing the nighttime videos when it's snowing outside, so I, I have my brights on, unless there's cars coming, but usually when it's snowing pretty good, I'm pretty much one of the only ones on the road. Most people get up here and they just get straight, straight to their cabins. If they make it in these, when we have the snowy, look at this guy passing on a blind turn, kind of, not smart, not smart at all. But I know what he's feeling right now. And this guy. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to do that. 
as far as you know. I am not gonna do that. The way that you guys would know if I did is if I hit stop and then the video starts to record again and that guy's not in front of us. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it, I promise. I'm not, I swear. So you know what you guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to get to Moon Ridge the back way from right here. So we're gonna go through part of the village again. We're not gonna take Big Bear Boulevard. Just in case you guys do come up here when it's snowing and there's traffic, I mean crazy traffic because we get crazy traffic up here. You guys have seen in the videos, it's ridiculous. trying to be on this guy's butt, I swear. He just keeps on slowing down and slowing down and slowing down. I'm backing off as you guys can see. I wasn't trying to tailgate him. Because I don't like it when I get tailgated, no matter how fast or slow I'm going. So, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, right? from the other side so we just drove all the way to the dam you guys I know it was nighttime so there's not really much to look at but you know what I love making these videos for another reason nowadays which is to hear from you guys get your guys comments I love it it makes me feel so dang good look how beautiful this is Spectaculous. Spectacular. Okay, so you're in the village now, right? Instead of turning left here, we're gonna remain straight. We're gonna stay straight on here, okay? And we're gonna take the back roads all the way. That's the rest of the village down that way. And we're gonna get to Moon Ridge on the back roads. We don't need to right now. There's no traffic on the boulevard, but I want you guys to be able to get some of these shortcuts most people will not be taking this route and it'll be freaking smooth sailing most of the time you guys so you just stay straight on here and it turns into Pennsylvania Avenue there is not a White House there yet. wrong Pennsylvania Avenue Basically, from this point on, you can basically follow the signs for the most part. 
Like this dead ends right up here at, uh, man, what is it called? Jeffries. And so you'll turn left, and then I think you just make your first right to stay on the side streets. So you make your first, well, you're only left here at the very end where it dead ends, and then turn right on this street called Oak. And you'll know you turned on the proper street because right here is the high school football field side but it's really easy you take Pennsylvania till it dead ends make a left and then your first right and then over here when we get through here a little bit there will be a sign that says like not not a through street and so you'll want to turn left there you'll see or yeah see not a through street and it says uh, through traffic make a left so you want to make a left here go down to the end and just follow it around to give you guys a sense of where we're at I think we're like kind of where McDonald's would be on the boulevard or, 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 or maybe not quite maybe yeah actually if we were on the boulevard over there to the left I think we'd be passing McDonald's and whatnot right now okay so now we are coming up to Wren Look, it's, it's another dead end, so you're going to want to make a left on Wren, W-R-E-N. And not this first street, McWhitney, but the second one is Brownie Lane. You turn right on Brownie, and then you'll stay on that all the way till you get to Moon Ridge Road. Pretty simple, huh, guys? Pretty darn simple. You guys are seeing a lot of these side roads right now they aren't in bad shape like they were just a few days ago some of them still had some nice little chunks of ice on them so they were a little bit difficult to maneuver sometimes but I think you guys are gonna be good right here is Carl's jr. and snow summit to the right this is the back way into snow summit right there And our next cross street will be Summit Boulevard, our next major cross street. And as I said, you're just gonna stay on Brownie until you hit Moonridge Road. And we'll shut this video off once we get to Moonridge. But look, we're, we're the only car on this road. How great is that? Even when there's traffic like crazy over here on Big Bear Boulevard, this is, this is dead a lot. I did get stuck in some traffic during this last storm, but it's because someone got in a little fender bender and they didn't want to pull over. They just stayed, stopped in the middle of the street and it jammed it up a bit, but that happens up here. It's part of living up here. So that was Summit Boulevard that we just passed when we came up to the stop sign. Wow, it rained. Decent little amount. Huh? So we're at Moon Ridge Road now. There's Walgreens, and we're going to be making a right hand turn to go back to the homestead. You guys have a great night. <clears throat> I love you guys so much. Thanks again for all the wonderful comments. You guys make me a really happy person, and I'm very, I'm very grateful for each and every single one of you. Thank you very much. Love you all very much. January 13, 2022.